Now to the latest tonight on the case uh, looking into Ahmad Arbery's death in Georgia. He's the 25 year old man who was confronted by a father and son and then shot to death while running down the street. An online threat was made directed at protesters in Brunswick. On your side, Kaylee Tracy spoke with one of the protest organizers about it all tonight. Travis Friddle helped organize protests related to the death of Ahmad Arbery in Brunswick, like this one Friday. One city, one city. That is one nation. Sunday, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation said it's investigating a Facebook post that, quote, contains a threat to future protests related to Ahmad Arbery. It's a cowardly move. We're, we're expecting the cowards to come out. They're afraid of what we're trying to get. So if they see everybody come together, young, old, white, black, that put big up that culture that they came up with is now fading away. We're moving towards something bigger and better. So I think they're just trying to get attacked together. Riddle says he and the other organizers are taking the threat seriously. We're not going to take it lightly by any means, but we also ain't going to let that skip from trying to get the message across that uh, we want justice for a moment, we want justice for Brunswick, as well as the uh, whole United States. Yeah. Another, 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 another. He says they're meeting this week to decide what steps to take as far as future protests and safety measures. We want to make, make sure the message is getting heard without jeopardizing people. Because when you're dealing, the worst thing did for the work the cowards, and we're dealing with some cowards right now, that um, they're not going to stop the message, they're not going to stop the the GBI says it's actively investigating the threat and will give updates as necessary. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side. Today, celebrities Jay-Z, along with Alicia Keys and Meek Mill, are calling on Georgia state officials for swift action in a letter sent to the state capitol. The letter calls for District Attorney Tom Durden's recusal from the case due to conflict of interest and a call for a special prosecutor to be assigned to ensure a fair trial. And we know that this is a developing story that we will continue to follow and have the latest for you on air and on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Plus, you can get late-breaking details instantly when you download our First Coast News app.